in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the faces of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. But welcome to Untethered. Hey, hey, hey! It's Jake Johnson with Untethered. How you guys doing? We got anybody here yet? Oh, there's two of us. What's up, guys? Good to see you. It's fucking Friday. Once again. Hats off to you. It's payday for some people. It's, uh, nay day for other people. However, we're having a good time, and that's all that matters, because nobody can have more fun than we can. Right here, we got some cool stuff going on tonight. We got a nice fire. What's up, Mr. Mercer? Good to see you. Hold on. I need to stoke my fire. Hang on a second. Ah, better. <laughs> Shh. Nobody saw that, right? It's Friday. What's up, Mr. Grace Control? You could with a penny. Okay. I'd prefer a dollar, but... Today is anything goes day. It's fucking Friday. Whatever you guys want to hear, I'll play. It doesn't matter. I'm in a good mood today. Everything's perfect. I got some cash today. Got an infusion. So that means Monday's podcast is going to have better cameras. I'm going to fix that shit this weekend. Believe that. My glasses are crooked. But I can see, so I don't care. How's your guys' weeks been? Everybody had a good week? Gray Sky Troll, how's your garden going? Great Sky Troll. How's the garden? You getting plenty of spaghetti coming up through the ground? Your internet's choppy. Sorry to hear that. For once, my internet's doing pretty good. Solid green all the way across the board. Looks like uh, 1.9 K bits going out quite contrary so no spaghetti in the garden then what about gnomes you got you got garden gnomes those are pretty tasty I got some cables that I need to get for my nice camera I'm gonna get that taken care of this weekend and then I'm going to hook the nice camera up. That's how my garden grows. We got a couple of garden gnomes. Well, I'll tell you what. Things get dicey. Just pop one of them in the back of the head with your BB gun. Throw them right on the grill. Makes a nice hamburger. You got to pick the concrete out from your teeth when you're done eating, though. But anything's possible with imagination. Oh, what a lovely day it's been thus far. Don't 
burger. Just don't let the folks at Linux hear you talking about it. They'll get upset. Mm. I got an itchy nose. Keep doing that. I'm not coked out of my mind. I just have allergies. Wish I was coked out of my mind sometimes, though. Old Uncle Sam came through for me today. I've been waiting on that stimulus check to come in, not sure if I was even going to get it or not. And uh, it finally came through for me, so. Whoa. I get Mountain Dew in a can. Let's see what we got going on here. Made a wish upon a star that I could drive a brand new car. Got tired of wishing, so I stole one. Seventeen and knew it all. Thoughts were big and my dreams were small. So many roads, somehow I chose the wrong one. Jesus and Mama always loved me. Even though the devil wanted my soul. Tried most all my life, found new kinds of lows and highs. Never been a husband, but I knew a lot of wives, and that's right. Headstrong, stubborn, couldn't be told. Like a wild horse, I couldn't be rode. A rainbow chaser, looking for gold the hard way. Wish mom could see me now How I turn my whole life around but Lately I've been going down the right road Life's a picture you can't paint Blues and grays and canvas can Heaven knows I'm not a saint but I know Confederate Railroad for you guys right off the bat this morning. Lovely song. I sure wish my mama could see me now. Actually, I wish I could see her now, but you know how it is. Can't win them all. Can't have it all. Mm.
do you guys want to hear? Enough about me. Let's talk about you. <clears throat> if you're in the chat, sound off. Say hello to everybody. Keep 
the thing to yourself. <laughs> How about that? Hmm. I can't do it. Way down south in the Everglades, where the salt water rolls and the tall grass plays, through the land of the Seminole, the alligator and the god. you like that song so I figured I'd throw it in there and I couldn't remember the first verse all the way through that's what happens when you get old and you smoke a lot of crack hmm <clears throat> how about something like uh oh you said George Strait
wasted a lot of time not getting to know the real you. But tonight, your beauty shining through. And I know that you don't believe me when I have to say that if I didn't have you, I guess I'd just have to pay. But oh, how you sparkle. Oh, how you shine. some George Strait for you. I mean, I have the words. I just couldn't remember them on the spot. That's all. I don't ever forget lyrics. I just lose them from time to time. They'll come back. How about, uh...
gathered for the feast. Stabbing with their steel and eye, but they just can't kill the beast. That's a little Eagles music. It's good stuff. Makes you feel good. <clears throat> you can listen to Otis Redding all night long. Ain't nothing wrong with some Otis Redding. Ain't nothing wrong with some Bill Withers either. sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone This house is paid no home Anytime she goes away Wonders time where she What you think about that shit? Oh, 
All right. What you guys got in mind for the next one? What you want here, Mr. Mercer? Let's see if anybody else has joined in just yet. Holding steady at four. <clears throat> Good God Almighty, I think we broke a record. Could be four whole people in the room. We got winners, we got losers, chain smokers and boozers, and we got yuppies, we got bikers, we got thirsty hitchhikers, and the girls dressed up like they were movie stars. We got cowboys, we got truckers, broken hearted motherfuckers, and we got hustlers, we got fighters, early birds and all nighters, and the veterans talk about their battle scars. smile on my face, no cover charge, come as you are, uh -huh. I love this bar, I like my truck, Take her out to dinner. I like a movie now and then, but I love this bar. It's my kind of place. Walking through the front door puts a big smile on my face. No cover charge. is but it sounds kind of dirty people talk about me baby say i'm doing you wrong but don't you worry about me baby cause i'm right here right here right where i belong i'm a picker i'm a printer i'm a lover i'm a sucker. Sun.
closer than my peeps you are to me Baby, shout it on my angel In the morning, angel Closer than a chicken I can be Nelly, is that too far? Some 90s rock. Mixed in with some 70s rock. And some 60s rock. <clears throat> Who is texting me now? Okie dokie then. Oh 
That's a little Kenny Chesney Grace Potter. <laughs> yep, that happened. It happened and it was good. Can't compete with a player. Isn't that what they say? I don't even know. I'm going crazy up in here. you to put that sublime bit on a short video gotta send it to some folks will do little Luke Bryan for you Work out the way I planned it. I can actually do that walk, but I have a capo on this guitar, and I forgot that I had a capo on this guitar, so I was playing it a half a step in the wrong direction. Damn. That don't work out the same way. I'll do it right this time. Or I won't, either way. Whatever. I don't care. How about that? Huh.
there's, there's some CeeLo Green for you. You didn't think that would happen, did you? I play some damn Cindy Lopper, you piss me off. I ain't scared. If you pay me enough, I'll throw my hat on backwards, pop in a couple of gold teeth, and start rapping for your ass. Because that's the kind of entertainer I am. Wild and crazy. And largely on drugs most of the time. All right, what else you want to hear, buddy? You got me going now. Keep it going. We got a few more minutes. Mr. Milton, you still with us? Holding strong. I'm going to let you guys kind of off the hook tonight. Instead of doing a lecture, I'm just going to play a little five-minute video at the end of this video. <coughs> that kind of goes with what I was talking about. Kind of illustrates the point a little bit better. Although it is the opposition, I wanted to put it out there so that you knew what I was arguing against. All right, Mr. Milton, you have any particular songs you'd like to hear? Gray Sky Trolls done thrown out a bunch of them. So it's your turn. Pop a couple out. See what I can do for you. Can't believe you asked me to play CeeLo Green like I wouldn't do that shit. <laughs> if I knew the words to it, I'd be dangerous. Not even sure how the song goes, but whatever. I do like CeeLo Green, though. Any of mine? Any man of mine gonna be proud of... Oh, that ain't what you're talking about? Okay. You're talking about a Jake Johnson song. All right.
of it by the album. All right. If you guys will indulge me, instead of doing a lecture tonight, I just wanted to play a little five-minute video of the opposition of what I've been talking about so that you'll see what I'm arguing against. Uh, this is something that's on national television. This is the consensus of the thought, the whole premise put forward that I'm fighting. So you'll know from this point forward what I'm going against. Here's a little five minute video. Hang in with me and watch it and you'll be all right. Well, is it playing? Somebody pop a Y if you can see the video. I don't think it's playing on this end. Oh, hang on just one second. I'm I know what to do. There we go. The universe is everything. From the tiniest particles to the largest galaxies, to the very existence of space, time, and life. But how did it all begin? First is the origin of everything. Multiple scientific theories, plus creation myths from around the world, have tried to explain its mysterious genesis. However, the most widely accepted explanation is the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory states that the universe began as a hot and infinitely dense point. Only a few millimeters wide, it was similar to a supercharged black hole. About 13.7 billion years ago, this tiny singularity violently exploded. And it is from this explosion, this bang, that all matter, energy, space, and time were created. What happened next were two major stages of the universe's evolution. Called the radiation and matter eras, they're defined by key events that helped shape the universe. First came the radiation era, named for the dominance of radiation right after the Big Bang. This era is made of smaller stages, called epochs, that occurred within the universe's first tens of thousands of years. The earliest is the Planck epoch. No matter existed in the universe at this time, only energy and the ancestor to the four forces of nature, the superforce. At the end of this stage, however, a key event occurred in which gravity split away from the superforce. Next came the Grand Unification epoch, named for the three remaining unified forces of nature. This epoch ended when one of those forces, called strong or strong nuclear, broke away. Then, the inflationary epoch began, during which the universe rapidly expanded. Almost instantly, it grew from the size of an atom to the size of a grapefruit. 
The universe at this time was piping hot, and it churned with electrons, quarks, and other particles. Then came the electroweak epoch, when the last two forces, electromagnetic and weak, finally split off. During the next stage, the quark epoch, all of the universe's ingredients were present. However, the universe was still too hot and dense for subatomic particles to form. Then, in the Hadron Epoch, the universe cooled down enough for quarks to bind together and form protons and neutrons. In the Lepton and Nuclear Epochs, the radiation era's last two stages, the protons and neutrons underwent a significant change. They fused and created nuclei. And in doing so, they created the first chemical element in the universe, helium. The universe's new ability to form elements, the building blocks of matter, cued the matter era. Much as the name suggests, the matter era is defined by the presence and predominance of matter in the universe. It features three epic billions of years, the vast majority of the universe's lifespan, and includes the present day. The first was the atomic epoch. In this stage, the universe's temperature cooled down enough for electrons to attach to nuclei for the first time. Called recombination, this process helped create the universe's second element, hydrogen. This hydrogen, along with helium atoms, dotted the universe with atomic clouds. Within the clouds, small pockets of gas may have had enough gravity to cause atoms to collect. These clusters of atoms, formed during the galactic epoch, became the seedlings of galaxies. Nestled inside those galaxies, stars began to form. And in doing so, the current stage of the universe's development, the stellar epoch. The formation of stars then caused a tremendous ripple effect and helped shape the universe as we know it. Heat within the stars caused the conversion of helium and hydrogen into almost all the remaining elements in the universe. In turn, those elements became the building blocks for planets, moons, life, everything we see today. This ecosystem of everything was only possible because of the many stages in the universe's development. While countless questions about the origins of our universe remain, it's only a matter of time for some long sought to emerge. As you can see, That whole thing is largely 95% bullshit and 100% fabricated. Uh, that's not at all how things go. Remember that last part there where they showed the periodic table and they highlighted the two up top? Helium and nitrogen kind of highlighted the rest of the bottom. Well, what they don't tell you is that those two at the top are the only two that are explained by stars. The rest of those things had to come from somewhere and you can't get any of them out of those two at the top. So I'm gonna have to go through the periodic table and explain so that somebody has a record of it somewhere if they don't shut me down why that's not right. And it's, it's pretty common sense. A, a fifth grade student could tell you that if they just got finished studying the periodic table. I don't know why they're passing it off as science. It's science with a capital S. That is a religion. That's wrong. That's not what science is made for. It's to test, observe, and repeat. And then have peer-reviewed the things that you, the answers you get to see if you're correct. And have other people check your work. That's what science is. That's not what's happening right now. With the Neil deGrasse Tyson and... Uh, Bill Nye, the perverted guy. That's not what's going on in science right now. 
and it started a long time ago and we're just now seeing it now people are starting to wake up and realize that we've been lied to and the more people are out there touting this the more it will happen the more people will start to realize they're trying to shut everybody down that even comes close to mentioning it but if they shut me down I'll just start up somewhere else they can't shut everybody down they can't kill us forever so anyway that's the whole purpose Thank you, sir. I appreciate the vote of confidence. But I am right, and I will prove that I'm right. With an exhaustive argument to the contrary. And I'll prove it one topic at a time until I get to present day from the beginning. That's my whole plan. I plan on it taking about a year. Just tagging on to the end of my podcast. Anybody that wants to watch it can keep on watching it. If they don't want to watch it, they don't have to. But hopefully they'll get point and understand that I'm fighting for their integrity and their honor. So maybe they'll watch and support it. Maybe they'll spread it around and see if we can't get some people involved. And if you don't like what I'm saying, go go find somebody else. I'm not the only one out there that's talking about it. <laughs> With that being said, that's my hour. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you bright 830 with a brand new camera. Maybe even some new effects. I might even have this whole thing set up where I can put videos right here and control them. Till then, see ya.